Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to do a little ColourPop haul and review some of the new items that they came out with over this past couple weeks. Um, they came out with some new glosses and then I also picked up some other stuff. And in advance I want to just apologize for my voice if I sound like a dog. I'm recovering from the flu and I've just been so sickly and I know I sound crazy but just bear with me so I picked up five of their new glosses it's the so juicy plumping gloss now when I saw this everybody was saying it gives nostalgic vibes like 90s type lip gloss vibes and I was feeling that too so it says it's a plumping gloss and I don't need plumping going on in this area but they looked so pretty that I was just like why not so I picked up like I said five shades and I'm gonna try them on for you guys and I typically if you've been watching me you know that I always do my lip glosses my lipsticks and just anything I do with a lip liner but I know a lot of you or some of you may not use a lip liner. So for the sake of that, I'm going to try it without my lip liner. This is what the packaging looks like. Really cute, pink, girly. So I like that. And this first shade is called All Talk. And I have was expecting this to be like a brown shade so let's see and look how cute that is it just reminds me of the it does remind me of the old days the glosses y'all y'all know what I'm talking about probably like most likely y'all do um that's really cute so I'm just gonna try this one on oh I thought I wouldn't be able to smell with my head off blown up and my sinus is all blown up and everything but it smells minty that's typically a thing with like a plumping formula so that's what they smell like Ooh, that color looks good It feels so rich and I love when I feel that in a gloss. Mm. I love how it's just a touch of that color and it's not like full on color because I'm really not into like super opaque glosses if that makes sense. I like this color. It looks good and I just wanted to do this for reference because I noticed a lot of people um, were commenting on their release like would you take some photos of the models with the lip gloss on like we don't know what it looks like so yeah as a reference this is the shade all talk I love that the glosses so far are really, really thick and that's something that I prefer in a gloss. For those of you who don't, then maybe that's something that you should consider. But I like that sticky gloss feeling because to me that says it might last long and I don't have to keep reapplying it. So I do like that. This next one is called Beechwood and it looks sort of like a mauve a mauve nude shade but let's just see this so juicy on it on all of them obviously and let's see what this one looks like I don't know if they're all um, like a sheer type color okay this one looks like it takes more to its color Still looks ooh, but this one is still pretty. 
Ooh, I love this one too. This one is beautiful. You can tell that by the color of this, you can you can tell. It definitely takes to its color more and I and I like it. Ooh. Like this one. If you want a close up, then I'll do a close up. I love I love this one. Okay, on to the next. This next one is called Roundabout, and this one is more so uh, just bare nude, I feel like it's gonna be. This is what it looks like. It looks like a pinky nude now that it's in the tube. Okay, this one is gonna take to its color. I see that now. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting a sense that some of these are going to be kind of colored glosses and some of these are going to be kind of sheer. And I think that's what it is, which is fine. Which this one, I would definitely have to pair with a dark liner in my opinion, but I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's it's cool. It's I don't think it'll be terrible. I think I may um I think I may take a liking to it if like I said I mix it with a darker liner. But yeah, so this is roundabout. If you want a close up on this, I'll get it as well. And this makes me so happy like I am obsessed with glosses. I love glosses more than any other type of lip product. So when they came out with these, I was just like, on that, on that. So this next one is called Princess Cut. And I think this one was the clear one that I was looking at. That I'm really excited about. Yes. So it's just this clear, just as simple as it gets gloss yeah oh this is so pretty okay so let's see mm. this is that back in this is that real back in the day beauty supply clear gloss look okay if you know what I'm talking about, leave it down in the comment section. But I'm sure a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is just as simple as it gets. It's a clear gloss. I love it. But the clear ones are always the most luscious, just like. So this last one that I have is called for the clout and it's like this really bright orange you can tell that this color has the correct name like for the clout um but yeah i just wanted to try this one because it was so bright and i don't tend to get like a bright gloss so let's just see oh it's actually not as bright and doing too much as I thought it would be. It's like a peachy, uh, peachy um, nude, basically. Ooh, yes, love this one. So yeah, those are all the glosses that I got. I feel like I'm gonna be obsessed with literally every shade and have to be stressed out figuring out which one I'm gonna wear. The last things that I picked up are just some lippy pencils. I got one in the shade Control and one in the shade BFF3 and I already have this one. I've done videos on it but I just wanted to re-up on it and I'll show you guys. Um, so this one, this one is Control. And this one is BFF3. So, 
And then lastly, I just picked up their new BFF liquid liner. This is really cute packaging. It has stars. I don't know if you can see it. It has stars and everything all over it. That's really cute. The packaging is so cute. It's in this white little tube. And it's just... Oh, it's in the shade Numero Uno. It's black. But that's the shade that they named it. It looks really, really sharp on point. I just wanted to share this little haul with you guys because, like I said, I'm obsessed with glosses and that's the main thing that I was um, concerned about with this haul. And yeah, be sure to try these glosses out if you're a gloss lover like me. As always, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love some love. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you guys. I'm always posting videos. I welcome you. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!